Let us welcome the first speaker. The first speaker is Mr. Yuya Kubota. His speech title is How Did Positive Penguin Change My Life? How Did Positive Penguin Change My Life? So Mr. Kubota, please come up to the stage. Can you hear me? Yes. OK, so thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and distinguished judges and questioner. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. And he says, good afternoon, too. <laughs> OK, so first of all, let me ask you one question. When was the last time you were praised by others? Now, if you feel that it was quite a while ago, or if you cannot even remember when, don't worry, I've invited a special guest for you. Here he is, this fluffy little penguin called Positive Penguin is a professional in the field of giving praise. Now, to tell the truth, until recently, I myself couldn't remember when was the last time I'd been praised by others. But I have a lot of bad memories of being scolded. Just the other day, it was by my boss. He roared at me for just a tiny little mistake I made, which made me feel upset. My mind was saying to me that he was trying to educate me, but my heart was saying that he was just cruel and mean. However, one day on my way to work in a crowded train looking up on Twitter, I had a fateful encounter with someone who changed all that. Yes. Is this Positive Penguin? He's a character on Twitter called Kote Penguin in Japanese. He's actually an emperor penguin, a baby emperor penguin. But the Japanese word for emperor, Kote, has a homonym which means positive. So he has his name. And what I found on the screen was an illustration of fluffy penguins saying things like, You woke up early? Great! You went to work? Great, and even you are alive. Great. Who on earth praises a healthy grown-up man for just being alive? Well, he was giving me so many messages of praise. And as I looked at him, I didn't know why. You may even want to laugh at me, but I suddenly felt a tear trickling down my face. It was nothing more than an illustration of a penguin, but his words stayed in my mind. He made my day. No, he made my whole week with just that little great. And I wondered why his words stirred my heart so strongly. And then I realized that it was because I hadn't been praised by others for such a little thing since being a small child. In my early childhood, my parents, my grandparents, and many of the people around me often praised me for what I did. You woke up by yourself? Great. You can ride a bike? Great. And even, you are alive? Great. However, as I grew up, people, and even I myself, tended to regard what I did as just ordinary, not really worth praising. I was hoping deep down to have someone to support me, someone to affirm my achievements and efforts. And this positive penguin was just the guy I was looking for. So after the encounter with the positive penguin, I started to praise myself for my daily achievements, such as waking up on time or going to work every day. I did the same in my job. I praised myself for my improvements, such as gaining new knowledge about accounting and lords. And you know what happened? I became to feel much better than before. I faced so many hardships, especially in my work, but praise gave me the power to overcome them. Actually, Elizabeth Hurlock, a psychologist, pointed out in her study that praising has the power to motivate us. In her experiment with groups of elementary school children, one group who received criticism improved in their math skills by only 19%. But 
another group who received praise improved by 71%. So she shows the positive effect of praise. Furthermore, I wondered whether I hadn't been doing the same thing just as my boss had done to me, to others like my younger colleagues. So instead, I started to praise them for any small improvements they made, like, your documents are much better than before. Great. Or, you've learned something new about the industry. Well done. And by doing so, they became to work with brighter faces. And not only that, the feeling between us became closer. Just as I was before, they also wanted to be praised and valued by others. Not only at my work, but in my life, I praised people around me, my friends and families, and then I realized that there had been a positive change in the relationship with them. So you see, I'm not as cute as him, but I myself became their positive penguin. Ladies and gentlemen, none of us is born perfect. So what's the point of blaming yourself or others for just small errors or mistakes? Think about yourself. Think about someone you love. And even some, think about someone you hate. Each and every one of them has their unique points that are worthy of praise and should not be denied. And what this positive penguin tells us is the importance of finding out the points of goodness or rightness in yourself and others. Find what makes a person special. Find what makes them valuable. Find that. If you find your own value, you'll be able to motivate yourself. You might even find a new side to yourself that you've never known before. If you find value in other people, they will find value in you because you have that special talent of finding what is unique in other people. So you can change how your life goes by just changing the perception you have of yourself and others. And the first step is to become the positive penguin, to say great to yourself and wonderful to others. And I'm sure you can do that just as he does, just like the positive penguin. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Kubota. Now, we have a question and answer session. Ms. Fukushima, please. Hello, Kubota-san. Hello. Great speech. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. <laughs> I love your positive penguin. <laughs> so, um, yes. if you were one of the CEOs at Fortune 500, shouldn't mm. you be worried more about employees' performance rather than their emotional status? Mm. Well, I think that, uh, first of all, if I was the CEO, I would, first of all, I would uh, make an action on the performance uh, mental mental issues because actually uh, there is a, a study actually uh, as I mentioned in my speech but a psychologist uh, in 1925 that it was effective uh, that praising has the power to motivate yourself and it actually resulted uh, actually uh, caused a good result uh, by praising others and actually there are some of the companies which actually does uh, focus on and try to praise their employees, like Samantha Tabasa, things like that. Okay, um, there's one human resource consultant yes. uh, who says, you know, productivity might be adversely affected hmm. if you praise your employees too much because he or she um, may think that you're just doing a great job hmm. and see. they don't have to improve anymore. Yes. What do you say to that? Well, I think that, yes, that's true, because uh, praise, I think praising is a kind of medicine. So if you take too much, and if you overdose, it becomes a poison, it spoils yourself. So one thing I would like to give advice is to find a room of improvement. And what I mean is that, so if I reach some here, here, where here, 
I would praise myself and also think about the next goal. How can I improve more? Then I came here, then I do the same thing, and it goes over and over again. So I think it doesn't make, uh, make the people be spoiled or over-satisfied. So you would just praise and not scold your employees? Well, actually, it's scolding is very important, but uh, I think the way you say is very important. It could be uh, the key. For example, like, if you say 1% of praise and 99% scolding, how would the employee feel? Because they would create a mental barrier and would not listen to you. But if you just adjust the ratio of your praising and scolding, like if you said 80%, okay, you, uh, Fukushima saying, well, you have done a great job in doing this, but as for the rest 20%, I think you can uh, employ, uh, Im uh, improve some point in this. Then how would you feel? Would you like to, didn't you think that, uh, that you would like to improve more? Yes, yes I love so. being I think praised so. too. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Fukushima and Mr. Kubota. Please go back to your seat. Okay. Thank you very much. And you've been a great, great audience, just like this positive penguin. Thank you very much. <laughs>